Well, finally today, we knew this day would come, and here it is. The Toronto Blue Jays playing their last game in Buffalo. And since we know we have quite a few fans out there, we figured we would give them a most Buffalo send-off in our most Buffalo story of the day. We still remember that first game. You can't go to the ball game. You can't see it at all. When the Blue Jays came to Buffalo, but no fans were allowed to actually go to a game. Fast forward a season, and Salem Field was welcoming the baseball faithful once again. This major league moment in time is certainly one for the history books here in the Queen City. We went online today, most Buffalo challenge style, and asked you to share your memories of Toronto's time here in Buffalo. Here's one thing we know. The love for America's pastime runs deep, even if the team is from Canada or the game is rained out. When you look back at the last year through this particular lens, a few things become clear. If normal was a wish, the Blue Jays gave Buffalo a little something extra, even if we had to appreciate it from a distance for a while. At a time full of fear and frustration, some comfort that something cool was happening, a bit of hope that the world as we knew it was still out there and maybe could be even bigger and better than we remembered it. Buffalo home to Major League Baseball? Who would have thought, right? From how they came to be here in the first place to now, their inevitable return home, the Blue Jays' affiliation with Buffalo is bittersweet. But it certainly made an impression. Baseball players are trained to be ready for the curveball and the fastball, and in a year when it often felt like we were all stuck in a batting cage with a pitching machine on tilt, it makes some kind of sense, doesn't it? to have found a safe place in baseball at home. That is Most Buffalo for today. Thanks so much for being here. I'm Kate Wellshofer. Be well, stay well. We'll see you next time.